Welcome to the homework for lesson one. This is module five of grade three. Please write your name here first. And we have a beaker. It says here a beaker is considered full when the liquid reaches the fill line shown near the top. So these are the fill lines up here. Estimate the amount of water in the beaker by shading the drawing as indicated. The first one is done for you. So, of course, you did the easiest one first. That's the half. The next one is a fifth, so we need five equal parts. This is not, fifths are kind of difficult. There's no trick to it really. Just look at this half and half of a half is a fourth. Well, fifths are supposed to be a little bit smaller. So my first guess is gonna be there. I'm just gonna try to make the rest of them about the same and just see how it comes out. So the next sign's about there, about there, and about there. And the fill line is the last one. And that's as good as it's going to get, really. You're just trying to get it to look close. It's never going to be perfect when you're drawing them like this. Now, sixths, the way you do sixth is you go for half first, and then each half you make into thirds. And most of them look a little bit smaller than the fifths, but it's really hard to tell the difference between fifths and sixths looking at that one. Is that right? Do we have six though? It's, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Those last two are pretty skinny. And the fifths, there's one, two, three, four, five, mostly equal parts. Danielle cut her candy bar into equal pieces, as shown in the rectangles below. In the blanks below, name the fraction of candy bar represented by the shaded part. So these, there's three parts here, so they're thirds, and this is one shaded in, so it's one third. And these are one, two, three, there's four parts here, so these are fourths, and there's one shaded in, so it's one fourth and then this one is one two three four five six seven parts so there's sevenths and there's one shaded in so it's one seventh each circle represents one whole pie estimate to show how you would cut the pie into fractional units shown below so halves Okay, I'm just going to try and go, the thing about circles is that all fractions really have to go right through the middle, the center of the fraction. So my trick for circle fractions is figure out where the center is as close as you can to it, and then just all lines have to go through it. There's the center. Thirds is going to look like a pie. Thirds are hard to do with circles. That's about as good as it's going to get. It looks like a big Y. And sixths will start as thirds. And then we'll cut each third in half. Like that. Or you can do the half first and then make thirds out of each half and then you have six three parts out of each half and you have sixths uh, but those are not the easiest ones to draw for circles just do just try to get it to look as close as you can it doesn't have to be perfect each rectangle represents one sheet of paper estimate to draw lines to show how you would cut the paper into fractional units as indicated below so here we need uh, halves for this piece of paper, so there. Try to get it right down the middle. I mean, I couldn't get it exactly down the middle, but do, do, do the best you can. Fourths. I could do this. That's one, two, three, four equal parts. Eighths, I can do 
you can do eighths this way. Start with fourths and cut all the fourths in in half. Any way you do it, <clears throat> you just want eight equal parts. Lots of different ways that you can do it. There really are. As long as the parts are mostly equal and you have eight of them, you have eighths. Each rectangle represents one sheet of paper. Draw lines, estimate to draw lines to show how you would cut the paper into fractional units. As indicated below, we have sixths and thirds. Thirds, I'm going to go just straight across here for the thirds. And those are close, as close as I'm going to get them. And sixths, I'm going to need twice as many of those. So about, I'm thinking about where's about half of each third. That's how I'm making my estimate. And the third lines. So there my, there's my sixths and there's my thirds. And just make sure that you have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts for the sixth and one, two, three equal parts for the thirds. Yuri has a rope 12 meters long. He cuts it into pieces that are to each two meters long. What fraction of the rope is one piece? Draw a picture. Okay, so here's a picture. And we're going to say this whole thing is 12 meters from end to end. And each piece is two, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now this last one is looks a little bit long, but that's okay. I'm going to fix it with my eraser. to get it close to the others. So each piece is, if we took one of these pieces, what fraction is that? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So there are six, so each piece is one sixth each. Is one sixth of the rope. Dawn bought 12 grams of chocolate. She ate half of the chocolate. How many grams of chocolate did she eat? So we could draw a similar piece here and then we can just make these all if this whole thing is 12 and we need to cut it in half that's two equal pieces and here I'm just gonna I was gonna chop it into 12 different parts but you could do it that way there's lots of different ways you could do this but two equal pieces that add up to 12 they both have to be and these are grams, six grams. Dawn, eight, six G grams of chocolate. You gotta have a picture because this is a word problem, so you have to have a drawing that shows you read the question. And here we have our answer written out. If we wanted to have an equation, we could have 6 plus 6 equals 12. 